The Galaxy S24 Ultra will finally include the much-expected feature that we had been awaiting for this year's Ultra phone. According to a recent interview with the South Korean Minister of Science and ICT, local phone manufacturers there would start offering satellite communication capabilities on their models in the next year. Since Samsung is the only significant company in South Korea, it is logical to assume that the Galaxy S24 range will finally have the much-anticipated satellite connection capability. This functionality is available on iPhones already. However, the S24 Ultra's satellite communication outperforms the iPhone 14 Pro Max's in terms of quality. One-way communication is the only kind of communication that the iPhone 14 enables, therefore SOS apps are the only ones that can make advantage of this capability. On the other hand, Samsung's satellite feature supports two-way communication, making it the first satellite communication system in the world to allow for regular messaging in areas without cellular service in addition to use in emergency situations. To reduce congestion, Samsung might enable 160 character texts to a preset list of contacts. More information is now available on the S24 Ultra's new telephoto camera. The S24 Ultra will reportedly have a new 50MP3X telephoto camera, which is five times more powerful than the S23 Ultra. This was just confirmed by Ice Universe. The sensor and pixel sizes, which are both increasing, are revealed by him today. In comparison to the S23 Ultra's 1-3.52-inch camera sensor, the phone's 1-2.52-inch sensor is larger. Thus, a larger sensor and high-resolution camera would not only increase the quality fairly greatly but also make non-native zoom levels like 5x zoom much better. The improvements are so significant that Samsung will actively promote the phone's 5x zoom picture quality, which likely explains prior speculations that the device will include a 5x telephoto camera. The 10x periscope zoom camera's hardware, however, won't change. However, this does not imply that there won't be a quality enhancement since the improved ISPs that the new processors will provide will also significantly impact quality. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.